let's look at this question a b c d e f g h i j and k are football players each of them can play in at least one of the positions defense midfield forward and goalkeeper among them a b c k are defenders c d e f are midfielders f g h and i are forwards j and k are goalkeepers a team of six players is to be selected for an exhibition match with the following restrictions the team should consist of one goalkeeper two defenders one midfielder and two forwards the following is known about selecting the players if you look at the questions all of them are if 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 okay so i'm going ahead and capturing all this data in a format that is easier for me to process for the defender positions i have a and b and c and k for the midfielder position i have c and d and e and f for the forwards position i have f and g and h and i and finally for the goalkeeping position i have j and k wonderful now when we are selecting a team we need one goalkeeper we need two defenders we need one midfielder and we need two forwards okay let's look at the condition only one among j and k is selected only one among j and k is selected okay this is interesting this condition is interesting because what this tells us is such a wonderful thing can you see either j will go in goal if j goes in goal then k is no longer available for defense or if k goes in goal k is no longer available for defense which is another way of saying while the list currently contains k as a defender k is not really available as a defender he will either go in goal or he will not go in goal those are the only possibilities either uh, k will go in goal or k will not go in goal similarly either j will go in goal or j will not go in goal okay only one among j and k is selected this statement is already interpreted by removing k from consideration in defense if d is selected then neither c or k among d f and c only one is selected okay i am saying this first statement i will interpret it separately now i will solve it based on the questions given if j is selected so j can only be selected as a goalkeeper if j is selected as a goalkeeper that does that in any way impact our subsequent selection i see this condition as j if f or c is selected then j is not selected because j has been selected i can make the claim c is not selected c is no longer available for consideration and if c is no longer available for consideration there are only two defenders left a and b a and b okay now uh, is there anything about d f and c among d f and c only one is selected among d f and c c is gone i'm looking at midfielders i'm looking at midfielders c is not being selected here a and b are being selected okay if f or c is selected then j is not selected c cannot be selected because j is in f cannot be selected because j is in d could come here or e could come here i will see oh more interestingly look at this third condition if b is selected then neither f nor i is selected f and i are out of consideration we needed two forwards the only ones that can come in are g and h the only ones that can come in are g and h so only my midfielder worries remain d or e among d f and c only one is selected it could be oh this fifth statement this is important among d f and c only one is selected means at least one of them has to make or exactly one of them has to make it to f is out c is out then d has to necessarily be selected and we have our team of six that we needed so if j is selected then who would be selected as forwards g n h only g n h this much we knew anyway okay this is done first question is done for the second question i will erase this and get to the solving if f is selected as the midfielder 
if he is selected as the midfielder in how many ways can the team be selected if f is selected as the midfielder uh, among d f and c only one is selected c cannot be selected so a and b have come in now look at condition 3 if b is selected neither f nor i is selected which means which means b and f occurring simultaneously is impossible which means c was anyway rejected because of condition 5 b is also eliminated because of condition 3 k is also eliminated because is in you can't really get two defenders you can't really get two defenders if f is selected as a midfielder you can't get two defenders and therefore according to the question if f is selected as the midfielder in how many ways can the team be selected no such team is possible because if f is gone c is gone b is gone everything is gone nothing is left for us to select then if d is selected as the midfielder d is selected as the midfielder then in how many ways can the team be selected if d is selected as the midfielder among d f c only one is selected so uh, in the defense we only have a and b left we only have a and b left because only a and b is left because only a and b is left then in the forward line if b is selected neither f nor i is selected in the forward line for f and i are gone there is only there are only two forwards left g and h now goalkeeper could be j or goalkeeper can be k let's see if d is selected neither c nor k is selected because d is selected k is gone this has to be j and now there aren't any more possibilities so if d is selected as the midfielder in how many ways can the team be selected just one there is just one way in which this team can be assembled okay last one now who among the following cannot be selected as forward now see the we have kind of figured it out if you paid attention earlier in the defense we have three options either ab or bc or ac one of these three cases would happen in defense can you see if b comes in according to condition 3 f cannot be a forward i'll place it right under it f cannot be a forward because b has come in in the same way if b and c are the defense f cannot come in because uh, according to condition 3 if b is selected then neither f nor i is selected in ac again f cannot be selected because among d f and c only one is selected if c is already selected here f cannot be selected as a forward so can you see regardless of what combo of defenders you take f can never be selected as the forward and therefore which of the following cannot be selected as forward the answer is option a f and that should be the entirety of this set this is very similar to one of the recent selection based sets that must be there in the list so if you paid attention there i had made exhaustive cases right at the beginning here i have not made exhaustive cases because the conditions were a little more widespread so i have done it question by question basis for this one hopefully it helps mm -hmm.